Well, let's so, not forget the, the wheelie bars. Yes. Uh, so Looks like they get used quite a bit, actually. They do, and every track that we go to has got a very unique characteristic to the race surface. A lot of people think that a racetrack is um, black. Well, it is, and it's flat. Most of the time it is, and it's smooth. Most of the time it is. Uh, but depending on exactly where these wheelie bars are in line in accordance to, uh, in a, in accordance to the stage beams, track might be a little bit uneven. Mm. There might be a little bit of dips here and there. Um, so you can set the, if you set the wheelie bar way back here and you roll forward into your beam, so you have to know that, hey, I mean, there might have been a half inch elevation gain by the time you get there. So you, that's what we do when we get to the tracks early in the week is really figure out what we have to work with, where we want to be set up at, go to our flat stance pad at the end of the track so we can square up. Um, wheelie bars, once we get our fine tuning spot, we'll, we'll stick there, usually for for the week. If we want to adjust the amount of wheelie we are really doing, um, that is actually a front shock adjustment that we do. But these are chromoly um, and they, they do, they, oh, they're so pretty right now. It's really not even that dirty. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> usually it, is, uh, it is, is covered back here. Um, real tail lights, they do work as, uh, as, as they should with a regular car. Um, if we head on. Just saying. We've got some placement on the car front and back. Just we saying. do. Yeah. The, um, now, I, I have to say, the competition has seen that a yep. lot, and that's not a bust to anybody at all. The way that we run this car and the amount of power that we make on the top end is pretty stout. Like I said, we have one of the highest mile an hours. So I know by half, like, I'll know as soon as I leave out, leave out of the gate, about a good light or not good light, if they were better or not, by the time I get to about 100 feet and the wheels have come back down from the universe, and now we're going forward and I've hit the one, two shift. If I'm with you at 200 and 250 feet, uh, it's game over. Half track, if I'm with you and you're still there, you probably you might've been out on me, but at half track, if we are together, we make so much power on the top end that this baby just rolled, that she just, you know, you hit, you hit that two, three and she's just walking away. Um, so the Hoonigan sticker has been seen by a couple. <laughs> um, but the main thing is for us to continue with the technology to make sure that we stay on top next year. So. This is like a modern sorry. car. Sorry. Oh, you got like I drive a, <laughs> I drive a Hellcat on the daily. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, open the trunk. <laughs> okay. Which, which that would be. Where Sick, there's a bunch of boxes in here. <laughs> Race car stuff. Re um, <laughs> technically, hold on. These are put those sunny side up. As I said, we got from, we got back from a tiny little show. I think you guys, you guys were there, right? You guys had a yard party? Yeah, that SEMA thing, that right? That SEMA thing. Yeah, it was pretty SEMA big. Thing. There's a couple of people um, there. A couple of people there, yeah. small, small stuff. Um, these are some of the, those are some of the trophies that we had picked up <laughs> at the end of the season. I love how you, I just keep my trophies in the trunk. In the trunk, the I mean. Wait, are those like, but, those are the real deal trophies though? These are the real, yeah. Let's see here. It's not like Bob Barker and the price is right. What is it? Oh, it probably says on the side. What do we have? Which one is this one? Oh boy. Let's, oh, this is cool. Uh, oh, man. Look. So for those that may not be drag racing followers and are still following along with us, thank you. Uh, this is what you call Wally. -E. Um, here's a little mini version of it. That's crazy. Uh, That's cool. So the trophy name is Wally, uh, named after the owner, I'm sorry, the founder of the NHRA Wally Park. So this is the U.S. Nationals one, and it is the first race um, that I have ever won in factory stock, the first race El Bandino had, oh, El Bandito, after, uh, or I mean before going on to win the St. Louis race in Dallas and then the championship. So Sick. Yeah. So. Just cool you have a <laughs> trunk full of them. Just. Just keep it in the okay. trunk. That's cool. They're safe back there. No, nobody's gonna. No one's gonna expect to keep your wallies no, in, the, in trunk. the trunk. Except now the world knows. Yeah. 